Hey, what's good YouTube? It's Pharaoh coming back with another video and as you guys can read from the title in this one I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get all your shooting badges as fast as possible in NBA 2k20 So if you just made a new player recently or you're trying to get your shooting badges on any other build You know trust me the method I'm about to show you guys is one of the best methods in NBA 2k20 Along with that I'll be showing you guys how to shoot consistently what to do in order to make sure this process is as fast as possible So yeah without wasting any more time let's get right into it man wait a minute are you subscribed yes no maybe well i don't take no as an answer so like come on man what are you really doing just hit that thing so we can all be happy man <laughs> <clears throat> so now the first thing you guys want to do is you want to head over to your options uh, Right there, and then you want to go down to your settings and for your game difficulty Of course turn it down to pro it'll, it'll, it'll make it a lot easier You don't want to play try hard against you know Hall of Fame monster or superstar You know you get the point you want to play against pro difficulty So your shots are more more like more likely to go in and quarter length of course you want to put that to 12 minutes so you have a lot of time to get these shots in and you're not wasting your time on cutscenes but with that being said what you also want to do is you want to head over to your controller settings and if you know your shot really good which a lot of you guys should know by now bro it's it's march bro you should know your jump shot go over to your uh shot meter and turn simply just turn it off this will make it so your shots go uh you know it'll, it'll improve your shot percentage you'll get a jump shot boost and all that good stuff so i recommend you guys turn it off and once you're done with that what you want to do is you want to approach this beautiful sexy black woman and you want to ah, you want to buy you want to buy a jump shot boost you know what i'm saying you want to buy that jump shot boost of course because you want to make sure you if you don't have badges to begin with or you're low overall you have something to rely on and this jump shot boost will do exactly that so you get a better shot percentage overall so you're not struggling to hit shots in a career because really who's trying to do that and once you're done with that what you guys want to do is you want to head over to your badges and this is going to be very important so listen up now for the badges these are the badges you're going to want to have all right these are are the best badges and then in terms of you know getting badges in career if that makes sense so you want to of course make sure the first badge you equip is quick draw on gold or hall of fame that's a must with you know before you get any other badge you want to have quick draw on at least hall of fame or gold something of that sort and then you want to work towards badges like range extender and then hot zone hunter green machine then dead eye and the rest it's whatever but if you guys want to you know watch a brief video on the best shooting badges in NBA 2K20. I'll leave a link in the description down below and I'll leave a card on the top right of the screen right there. So yeah, that's for the badges. And now as you guys can see at the end of the my career game, I ended up getting a total of 23,000 XP going towards my shooted. And you guys can see I ended up maxing out and capping out my shooting badges. So I'm telling you and you guys can see this is clear proof that this method does work. Not only that, but you guys can see that the only way that I got the main way I got my XP was from moving mid range shots. And I ended up getting a total of 20,000 points. So that goes to show if I took more three point shots, moving three, standing standstill threes, I would have got, you know, maybe like 40,000 points. But in this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys the moving mid range shot method because that's pretty much the best method in the game all right so let, just like i said before this method consists of you know taking moving shots and i know i know a lot of you guys are just gonna hop in and just take a bunch of moving shots but no if you guys want to do this effectively take a look right here so basically what you want to do is call for an iso that's what you want to do call for an iso by uh, pressing l1 and then x and then call for a screen by holding l1 and then you want to run to this corner right here you guys can see you want to choose either the left corner or the right corner and pretty much just take a moving shot every single time in that corner and that's the best way to do this method if you guys want to do it correctly you know there's other ways that i'm going to show you as well but this is the main wa way of doing it you want to call for an iso call for a screen run to one corner and just take that moving shot by doing that you're gonna have a high percentage shot as you're gonna be open and it's in the corner as well and you're just gonna have a moving shot Shot, which in this game in the career mode it's a lot easier to take and you get more xp from it so it's a win-win situation so yeah method number one that pick and roll strategy and the second one as you guys can see what i'm doing is i'm you know laying back on defense i'm not playing any defense at all and i'm just waiting for my teammates to get the ball to me and once i get that ball i'm out bro what i mean by out is i'm out 
So I'm the first one there. I got the ball and I'm ready to go. So I, you know, you already know I'm going to hit that corner and take that moving shot. And that's basically all I do every single play. I don't play defense. I wait to get the ball. I take a moving shot since I'm the only one there. And I get a wide open look every single time. Now, before you do anything, what you guys want to do is you want to call for a half court press. And that's what I do. And that's how, as you guys can see, my team is all the way at their inbound. And they're trying to get the ball on their hands, bro. They're greedy for this ball. And they're trying to do whatever it takes to get it and that's how you get these easy fast breaks going so basically call for the half court press you know press uh left on your d-pad and then you know r1 i believe to call for the half court press and then your team's just gonna be pressing these guys and you're gonna get the ball on your hands real quick and that allows you to get those easy fast break points where no one's in the you know no one's in the area you have a wide open look every single time for that moving shot so you have no reason to not make these shots so one way like i said is the pick and roll strategy another way is this method where you just call for that half court press let your team do its thing on defense and once you get the rock you just hit that thing like it's nothing you know what i'm saying and yes it does sound easy that's because it is bro i'm making it look easy and sound easy because it is easy yo i'm back did you like the video and did you subscribe well if not make sure you do it right now let's get it Hey, so now that you guys like the video and subscribe, let me show you guys the good stuff. So as you guys can see right now, I'm in the My Player Nation, and basically, if you don't know what the My Player Nation is, let me just read it out to you guys. So it says, "Welcome to My Player Nation, where the NBA 2K20, whatever, whatever, whatever." Uh, so start playing now and earn double VC and my points. So basically, My Player Nation is like my career, but basically in these games you get double rep, double VC, double badge progress, and all that good stuff so if you're earning like 40,000 you know badge progress uh going to, towards your shooting in one game you can potentially get 80,000 if you just play my player nation and basically it's that simple you just have to play these games whenever it allows you to play and you want to be pretty consistent on this because it makes a big difference and it allows you to get a lot more xp than you usually would like you literally get double xp going towards your shooting progress your badge progress and every single progress and vc with that too so make sure you guys check this out yo are you still watching the video well if you are comment down below purple head pharaoh in the comment section so i know who the real ones are but yeah with that being said let's go back into the video all right so now that you guys have the strategies down you have everything down you have the my player nation going in the two methods i told you guys about and everything else what also what you also want to do is if you don't have badges to begin with a really useful way of getting badges really fast is of course the team practice so after every game you want to make sure you go into the team practice because in the team practice you can do some drills and they give you a lot of xp going towards your shooting and it's really easy to do you get a bunch of xp going towards your shooting and it's overall just you know simple and easy and convenient so for that reason you want to go into the team practice and once you're there you want to choose the shooting drills of course and the one you want to choose is of course the free throw one because that's that happens to be the easiest one and it's really easy to do it's easy to get three stars on that and get that full xp going towards your shooting so i'd recommend you guys go with the free throw one and once you're in that you know you just gotta make sure you get you know your three stars by making all your free throws or if not you know a couple less than all of them so you want to make sure you get three stars and once you get three stars as you guys can see i got a total of like 2000 and xp going towards my shooting alone from just this one drill and you can do it like four times so you know sometimes you might get a lot but usually you get 750 so if you do that three or four times that really just adds up so if you have no badges to begin with this is a really good way to start but yeah guys with that being said that's pretty much how to get shooting badges fast in nba 2k20 also if you guys want to know how to get your shooting badges i mean your playmaking badges finishing badges defensive badges or anything of that sort make sure to check Check out my playlist where I show you guys how to get every single badge and if you guys want to know the best shooting badges or any other videos make sure to check the links in the description down below and if you made it till here this point of the video comment down below green head pharaoh you know earlier in the video I said purple head but I need to know who the real real ones are you know I'm trying to trick you guys so comment down below green head pharaoh if you made it till here and yeah with that being said make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel all that good stuff turn on post notifications but yeah with all that being said man it's pharaoh here and i'm out